Among the many games Roblox has to offer, Fishing Simulator happens to be the one that got me hooked. Despite looking very simple on the surface and being very easy to pick up, the game actually features quite a lot of depth. So today, as the title already suggests, I want to talk about the different boats you can purchase in the game and how useful they are. I will rank them using a standard tier list format, ranging from A to D, with A being very useful and D being next to useless. Up first is the rowboat. It is by far the cheapest boat in the game, costing only 2400 coins. However, despite the low cost, I still wouldn't call it great due to its abysmal speed and health, even when maxed out. When using the rowboat, as soon as a sea creature shows up, you're probably gonna sink. Despite its flaws, I will still put it into the C tier due to its very affordable price. Next up is the speedboat. Now this personally is my beginner vessel of choice due to its decent speed and cheap price. Not much to add here, B tier. Coming up next is the fishing boat, more than twice as expensive as the speedboat. However, it comes with a boost to hook speed, which decreases the time it takes for fish to bite. Is it worth it? Not really. Sure, it is bulkier than the speedboat, but the lower speed means you can only outrun sharks, so fishing on the awkward side of the map becomes a pain. C tier. Next up we have everyone's favorite, the early game workhorse, Speedboat 2. This is THE boat to get if you are new to the game, boasting good speed and health while still being on the cheap side. A tier. Next up we have another community favorite, the yacht. Stats wise this thing performs rather poorly, however it more than makes up for it for its boost. Increased rarity chance means rarer fish are gonna bite more often, making both index completion and money making easier. A tier. Next up we have the rather overlooked garden boat. Stats wise this thing is even worse than the speedboat, however it comes with two boosts. One which increases its hook speed, which as we already discussed isn't that important. What makes this boat so good is its secondary effect, which makes sea creatures not attack you unless provoked, meaning you can go pretty much anywhere and fish without being interrupted. This effect especially shines in the second region, where sea monsters are more deadlier and unpredictable. A tier. Next up we have the armored boat. Its huge health pool allows it to really take a beating, with its effect even potentially nullifying the damage of an attack. However, while being able to tank many hits is great, being able to dodge hits is still better. Which this boat, and its combination of huge hitbox plus low speed, cannot really do. Still though, B tier. Paddling up next is the Kaya. A glass cannon of sort, being even faster than Speedboat 2 while having pitiful health. <laughs> However, its small frame and high speed makes it excellent for dodging. B tier. Next up is the Sailor Steamboat. Oh boy. Let's just bring our old friend Speedboat 2 in for a moment and compare them. Hmm, lower speed, lower health for some reason, same amount of passenger seats, no bonus which could balance these flaws out, and it all comes at the cheap cost of three times the price. Unless you really like the steamboat aesthetic, do not buy this boat. D tier. Next up we have the golden sailboat. Its stats are once again nothing special, especially for its price. However, it has the neat effect that whenever you catch a fish, a portion of its value is directly added to your bank, which makes it great for money making. Combine this with the Fishmaster and you can make a lot of money. A tier. Next up we have the Surfboard. Kayak 2.0. Not much to say about it, except you can only ride this thing alone. And since there are no rolling waves in the game, it kinda lacks the charm of a real surfboard. Also, why do these two have horns? B tier. Next up the Jet Ski. Kayak 3.0. Even more health, even more speed. B tier. Next up the newspaper boat. Lord have mercy. I'ma be honest, in my 130 levels of playing this game, I have never seen anyone run this. And for good reason. Mediocre stats, especially for its price, with no boost attached. And worst of all, there is a boat that costs just as much as the newspaper boat that is just straight up better. D tier. Why would you ever buy this? Next up we have the airboat. As already mentioned, it has the same price as the newspaper boat, except it's actually really good. And it will serve you well while you grind your way to the most expensive boats. A tier. Coming in at a whopping 1328.57% increase in price, we have the land boat. Fast, tanky, reliable. A tier. Next up we have the super yacht. A bigger version of the yacht, both HP and price wise. It also technically has 5 speed more, but that's negligible. Unfortunately, the main benefit of using the yard, i.e. the rarity boost, does not get any higher with the super yard, and in fact costs even more to max out. So unless you want to spend millions of coins on a tankier version of the yard, it's not really worth it. C tier. Next up we have the pirate ship. Our first ship on this list that costs gems instead of coins, and it's actually good. It suffers from the same problem as the armored boat, in that it has no speed and a massive hitbox, which makes dodging rather difficult. 
but it also provides 600 more base health than the armored boat. It comes with a boost that makes farming sea creatures a lot easier. A tier. Next up we have the Viking boats. Dear goodness. Alright. Health and speed dwellers that are not nearly good enough to justify the steep price. While a rarity boost is always nice to have, requiring 10 people in your boat just to get the same benefit as a yard is a complete joke. Same with the newspaper boat, I do not recall ever seeing anyone use this. D tier. And for the last boat in Deckard shop we have the houseboat. It possesses a ginormous health pool of 3500, the highest of any purchasable boat in the game. It also comes with decent speed and finally a rarity bonus that is higher than the yard. Definitely worth it if you can afford it. A tier. Arriving in Ocean 2 we have Arn's boat shop. And to save myself some editing and use some time, let me cut this short. All of her boats are garbage. They possess no special abilities, cost a crap ton of money, with mediocre stats to boot, and the only reason you would ever buy any of them is if you really like the aesthetic. D tier for all of them. And that about does it for all the boats you can buy in the game. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. May your fishing go well and have a good rest of your day.